First off, what, is, what does this mean to you? Anybody, just what does this mean to you? Or, answer, which one of these is the you think is the hardest for some people? Mm. Change? First class. Yeah. Go. Go, okay. Okay. Anything you do. So, all right. So, pretty much what I put is, as you get older, um, as a person gets older, they uh, they become reduced to secondary things as life comes. It reframes them from focusing on their number one goal or idea. As time goes, some let go of their of their true goals. Also, it keeps. It keeps going to a certain age. They stop dreaming um, and they stop wanting to change their mind about things. They become arrogant um, about what some things to come. Now, break, just breaking it down so easy. If you are, for some people, it's hard for some people just to listen to some people, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes yo, your parents don't want to listen to you, your auntie don't want to listen to you, some of your family members don't want to listen to you, which sucks when. They don't understand that you also have the knowledge to tell them something they don't know. All right, coming to change in somebody's mind, you know how hard it is. When you when you want something, it's really hard to change some people's minds. Cause my mind is set on that one thing. I want to do it and I want to have it. But some people, there's a couple of ignorant things that don't. They just don't want to change their mind about certain things. And dreaming and setting a goal. First of all, if you can't dream, you can't set a goal. And for some people, why well, I didn't do the other class? You got to get a mark. Let me get a mark. All right. Get a mark real quick. Going. Without, all right, without dreaming and setting a goal, this is what people have trouble with. This is the hardest thing people. This is the hardest thing people don't understand. Not believing. Doing it, doing it is the easiest part. That is the easiest part for every single goal or every dream that you have is, is doing it. But believing that you can do it, that's hard. Because there's gonna be so many people that's gonna tell you that you can't do it. It's gonna be hard enough for you as a person to dig down deep and be like, yeah, I, I, I believe I can do this. Because it's down here. And as people beating it down, they don't wanna, you know, you don't wanna believe it. If you're not willing to change your mind, you're not willing to listen. If you can't, if you're not setting a goal, then you don't have the mindset to keep going with it. So all this ties in with with, with one another. Everything ties in together to for you to believe in something in yourself that you can do something different. So what I did tell the class is I said, for some of y'all, if there's some imagine somebody close to you. They're very close to you. If they sat you down and told you, I'm trying to tell you something that will change your life. The question is, would you sit down at that moment, forget about everything else, would you sit down at that moment and actually listen to what they have to say if it's going to change your life? That's the question. Would you sit down and actually change your life? For some of y'all, it'll be, nah, I don't want to sit down right now. I ain't, got, I ain't got time for that. I got to do something real quick. I do something. We, we do this later, completely later. For those people, I'm not talking to y'all. Talking about people that actually sit down and want to change their lives. For Mr. Smith, some of the things that he's teaching y'all, telling y'all, it will change your life because it opens up your mind. It is a it is a mindset. The dynamic of the world is a mindset. It is a system to make you change your mind and to have you listen to things that's either not the truth, a certain way, and not a certain way. It the world will change your goals. The world will either make you believe or not believe in something, and the world can make you make a goal or discard a goal. Well, give give them the example too of the of your mom, how she had a primary goal. Yeah. But then once, yeah. Like y'all know some of y'all parents. Some of y'all parents have y'all ever asked y'all parents uh, what they wanted to be in life, what they true. Would you, anybody? What did what did y'all parents want to be? Mom wanted to be an actor. An actor. Okay. <clears throat> My mother wanted to be a broadcaster. She wanted to be on television. She wanted to be, a, you know, in front of camera, you know, this is today's news type. Sorry, this is today's news. Yeah, she wanted to do that. Now, I asked her, why aren't you doing that, Mom? 
she couldn't necessarily pinpoint it. Now, what I got from that, is I figured that I probably came into the picture because she wasn't supposed to have kids, but I'm here. So for some of y'all parents, and definitely the majority of y'all parents, probably in a job that they don't like, they wish they could kick, like literally, not even kick it, just put it on a fort and just lick it fly out of here, you know? <laughs> Like, never see it again, because they hate the people, they hate what they do, and they either hate standing up all day or sitting in a chair all day. They're not doing what they want to do. Because, so, so tell them, they're, they're, now their primary goal is put on the back burner for their bills. Yes, that too. And, and taking care of their kids. I'm not saying that. It's not necessarily a back burner, because some people are living steady. Some of y'all parents are living steady, and they're not improving, if that makes sense. They're not... They're not reaching out to find a better job because they're comfortable with what they got right now. I would say, don't ever be comfortable. Whatever goal you got, keep it, but don't be afraid to listen and change your mind about other things or to dream about other things because there's whole other things that you want to do that branch off to other things. In this world, this, this world is very cruel. Well, I'll tell you that right now. It's very cruel. For some of y'all that think y'all gonna get a free scholarships, that some of that's gonna be out the window. I'm not gonna lie. So, but some of y'all don't even have to go to college, which is great. Cause some of y'all could be billionaires. Not gonna lie. Just saying, just saying. I'm not saying don't go. If you need to go, go. If you don't, screw that up. But for some of the things that anybody tries to teach you, it may be bull crap that they're trying to tell you, but at least have the decency to listen. Whatever they say, if it doesn't work for you, discard it, but have the decency to listen and at least change your mind about a couple things to let you learn about other things in life because there are some things that I know, Mr. Smith know, that will blow your mind about the economy, about the United States, about people in power that y'all don't even know about. The example that I use with the other classes. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good one is y'all think we a democracy, right? Pushing for democracy. Y'all say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the what? See, See that's what this that. country is. It's a republic. Y'all knew that. That's the thing. Y'all knew that. That was in the back of y'all heads and y'all never thought to think about that. Don't worry, I didn't either. Some of y'all actually knew that. Some of y'all didn't. And that's crazy. How about, I'll, I'll give another one. How about the, the coins? Anybody ever wonder why Abraham Lincoln's coin is brown? He faced another direction. He faced another, yeah, but he faced another direction. Because he let the slaves go. Actually, he didn't let the slaves go. He stopped the spread. That'll be a different, we'll have a different conversation about that. That was actually because of capitalism. Abraham Lincoln never wanted to let the slaves go. Be real with you. And that's because uh, he was black. Oh, yeah. Abraham Lincoln was black. His daddy was. His daddy was. But don't nobody know that. Not a lot of people know that. But that's a significant thing. Why what? Because it's not taught to you. It's something that you actually have to look up. And unfortunately, some of y'all, either y'all have to watch something or you gotta read it. And the majority of things that they aren't teaching you in the schools, they're read. They're in a book somewhere. And for some of y'all, y'all don't wanna read. If y'all wanna read, that's cool, because the majority of stuff that I know, I got from documentaries, which is great, because I get to watch. So y'all need to find some documentaries, or y'all need, if y'all like to read, get a book and start reading. Because there's some things in books That'll blow y'all minds. That's ridiculous. Y'all all know about Santa Claus. Y'all know the real Santa Claus. Well, he was a, of course, yes, he was a saint, but the real Santa Claus was actually black. Y'all can, y'all can look up Saint, look up Saint Nicholas. Look at the pictures in Google, and the lower you go at the timeline, the blacker he gets for some reason. I don't know why he gets darker. I didn't think he was that black, but apparently he was pitch black. But yeah, just don't be afraid. I would say don't be afraid to open your mind, listen, and change and dream and set a goal. And don't believe in what you are doing. 
Because you can have all the skills in the world. If you don't believe in what you got and don't believe in yourself, you ain't going nowhere. Because you'll be doing something that you hate. You'll be doing something that you don't like. That's, that's all I got. Thank you.